So I've always wondered with torque wrenches, how does the snap-on $700 torque wrench compare to what I use on a regular basis, which is more like a $150 torque wrench? Welcome back to Research Design Build, guys. So in today's episode, I'm gonna be able to compare uh, high-end torque wrenches like this snap-on one to low-end like this one that I've got from Canadian Tire and even some cheaper options from Princess Auto. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys have had the same kind of questions. Is there a huge difference between what I can buy at Canadian Tire or at Princess Auto for a fraction of the price of the very expensive Snap-on and Mac tools? Now until today I just had to kind of assume that for the $750 you were getting a much better tool. Now just recently I was able to get my hands on a professional torque wrench testing and calibration tool so that I could actually test out a few torque wrenches and see what the difference was between the high end and the low end. So the first torque wrench that we had was one from Princess Auto and this was their sort of baseline torque wrench that went up to 150 foot pounds. Now this Power Fist torque wrench, currently you can buy it for $18.99. So this is at the cheapest end of the torque wrenches that you can get. So what we found with that one was that at 150 foot pounds, it was registering or clicking at 144 foot pounds. So this is off by 4%. Given the price point at $18.99, that's pretty good. We then moved on to the Pro Point torque wrench. Now this torque wrench is kind of the high end, you know, quote unquote professional version uh, that they sell at uh, Princess Auto or Harbor Freight or the such. A regular retails for $109.99 and was on sale for $69.99. So again, very budget friendly torque wrench. For this one, tested a few different points within the range. So at 80 foot pounds, it registered or clicked at 82 foot pounds, which it means it was off by about 2.5%. At 60 foot pounds, it went to 62 foot-pounds before clicking, so 3.3. Again, registering just slightly over what it was originally set at. Then moved on to the Mastercraft from Canadian Tire. Now, these were all of their maximum brands. The 50 to 250 foot-pound unit is right now available for $149.99, but again, those regularly come on sale for 50% off, so to get it around $75, $80 is not unreasonable. So with that one, we put it through the same tests, and so at 80 foot-pounds, it was registering 78.58, so 1.8% off its measurement and measuring a little light, and at 150 foot-pounds, it was actually measuring 148.42, which is 1% off of the original setting. So that's pretty darn close for, you know, talking about under $100 probably on sale, you're getting about 1% accuracy. So moving on, we had a Mac unit as well as a Snap-on. And for the Snap-on unit, it was bang on compared to the digital readout on the calibration scale all the way, you know, from the lowest range from 20 foot pounds all the way through that range, it followed that perfectly. Uh, we're talking off, you know, 0.2 foot pounds, that sort of thing. When we put the Mac on, which is a quarter inch drive, it performed the exact same way. Now these had not been recently calibrated and were several years old and in use with a heavy duty diesel mechanic that was using these as their regular tools. Now for the Mac 3 8 inch torque wrench, that retails right now for $647, and the Snap-on half inch drive that goes up to 250 foot-pounds is $750. For that money, you are getting extreme precision. So what did I find out after testing all of these torque wrenches? Well, a couple of things. First, for my purposes at home, for changing tires, uh, occasional engine work, that sort of thing, the medium range torque wrenches are absolutely fine. With the precision of plus or minus 2% throughout the range, they're great. Would I ever recommend going to those higher end torque wrenches? Yes, there's a couple applications. One, if you're building high end race engines or something like that, where your precision that you're trying to get the torque setting at is, is has gotta be bang on. 
The second very important thing to consider if you're going to go up to these, or the reason to go up to these, is the fact that they've also got an angle feature on them. So a lot of uh, new specs are coming out that you torque it to a certain amount, and then you also give it 60 degrees of rotation. So with both the Mac and Snap-on, you can actually set it to angle as well. So you can torque, then set your angle, and then again, continue to rotate with your angle, and it will again beep when you hit your 60 degrees. That is something that you cannot do automatically with the click type torque wrenches. Now the difference between the Mac and the Snap-on is that the Mac torque wrench beeps as you're getting up to the torque setting. And if you're doing one bolt, that's okay. But if you're doing it all day and working around other people, that can be very annoying. One does not do that. It has the uh, lights that it shows, and then it vibrates when you hit that torque setting. Now, I hope this helps you understand the limitations, I guess, of the quick type torque wrenches, or where it might suit you in the future if you want to upgrade and move into a more professional grade tool.